I love the ocean. It is my favorite place to be. And to walk through something like the Hobbit Trail to get here, what more can one ask for? Simply amazing. So we're at Hobbit Trailhead. It's about 15 miles south of uh, Yahats, Oregon. I had some drone work to do later on today um, south of here, and I've always wanted to come to this uh, trail. I've always wanted to walk it. I've always wanted to take pictures in it. Um, it's not the perfect conditions today, even though it's, it's, it's beautiful today, but um, you know, kind of that whole, that whole fog thing in the Oregon forest, you know, I wanted to capture that. But what I thought I'd do since I was passing by here is just uh, take you guys along, just kind of go out and, and scout the trail, and I'm sure I'll be back here. I'm only, I live only, you know, half an hour from here, so I'll find the perfect conditions and come back. But I wanted to come see what it's, uh, what it's all about. Hoppet Trailhead actually leads to the ocean across the, the highway, Highway 101 here. And then uh, we've got Valley Trail on this side, so I'm just going to go... Go explore. I thought I'd bring you along. So I thought I'd just bring along one lens. I've got my uh, Sigma 16 millimeter that I've got on my Sony a6000. Um, I just got this lens. I actually took it to a, uh, a photo shoot yesterday for real estate. I was doing interior shots and I noticed that uh, it, it's kind of got a little bit of a fisheye look to it. And unless you have uh, you know, unless you're able to correct it in, in Lightroom, something like that, with lens correction, you you know, I wouldn't expect to go out and just take pictures with this and end up with something that you can use unless it's, you know, pretty far away from you. But anyway, I brought this lens along. It's the only lens I'm going to use. I'm just going to search for my composition and uh, try and make this work. All right, so uh, let's head out. All right, only half a mile to the beach. That's oh, beautiful so far. Boy, Hobbit Trail just conjures all kinds of thoughts into the imagination, doesn't it? I'm so excited to come see this. So I just found what really might be a really good picture. This. Uh, this branch leaning off to the right here. It's awfully hard in uh, woodland photography, you know, to get some kind of a picture that's uh, that's clean. There's so much. There's so much stuff to look at. So many things involved. I'm going to give this a shot here. Maybe I'll just put Russell in it. Not your typical woodland scene, right? Jack Russell out in the wild. 
I don't know. Let's go down here for a bit. You enjoying this stuff, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely is. That ocean is awesome. It's only a half mile little trail here. I have to be honest, I'm kind of just thrilled with the location. I'm not really looking for composition too much, just kind of walking it. But uh, I love the fact that I can return here. You know, I kind of found one of my spots. A lot of these photographers, you know, go back and back over and over to the same place in different uh, different weather conditions, different lighting, different, uh, you know, all well, different conditions. And uh, I might have found one of my spots here. Pretty excited about that. Look at this. Boy, there's got to be a picture or two in this. It's just awesome. All right, let's set up here. I think I'm going to try and shoot everything handheld today. I think the only tripod I'm setting up is just for the actual camera for filming. And I've got my, uh, I've got this Pocket 2, and I've got its Bluetooth lav mic, and that's the only thing that I have to use right now, so I kind of have to keep my pocket to recording continuously so that might uh, really determine the length of this video Yeah, there really needs to be really needs to be fog in here. Kind of cut off that skyline just a little bit. Skyline is kind of everywhere you look in here. What an amazing place. Just incredible. Hobbit Trail. Oregon Coast. I love my dog. Sun's poking out here. What an incredible place. So I'm kind of not sure where I want my YouTube channel to kind of what direction I want it to go in. I started talking about thinking about just being a purely educational channel, but uh, I don't know, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. You know, I said my next video is gonna be about shutter speed. I guess if you want me to talk a little bit about shutter speed while we're walking, I can. You know, uh, it all goes by seconds. You know, one half of a second is a really slow shutter speed, so you're gonna get a lot of motion, you're gonna get a lot of blur. Like if you took a picture of Russell right there at a half second, he'd just be this little white streak, you know? so set it up to a smaller fraction like one two hundredth of a second and it opens and closes that eyelid a lot quicker and so his actions his motion you can catch a lot quicker you know you can even go up to one two thousandths of a second or something like that to catch like the you know wings of a hummingbird something like that so you know that's that shutter speed in a in a nutshell and you need uh you need a lot more light for a lot quicker shutter so if you wanted to catch russell's actions 
you know, freeze frame him, you know, you need a lot of light on him. You know, the, the less light you have, the slower your shutter speed because the longer you want your eyelid to stay open so you can capture all that light. Oh, this is pretty cool here. So I'll eventually get around to those videos where we talk about the how-to's, about the dial on your camera, but uh, for today, yeah, I just couldn't miss this opportunity. I wanted to come check out this trail and I wanted to bring you guys along, so that's kind of what we're doing. Look at that. Oh my word. That is a fantastic old tree. I'm assuming it's old. Could have grown in the last day. I would have no idea. Wow. Oh, that's a good one. That is a fun picture. Every once in a while, you know, you go take your camera out. I come back with 300 pictures or something of a place. I'm sure you could probably tell I'm just a shutter bug with these things. But uh, every once in a while, you you can tell when you got a good one. You just feel good about it, you know? kind of makes your whole day. You have no idea if that's going to happen or not. One last look from down here. Uh, <laughs> so many pictures. Just set this thing up really quick. That's pretty cool too. We, I think, are almost to the beach. That was a great picture, Rue. Posing. Come on, Rue. This way. Not a bad little half mile hike. I see he's walking on sand. Oh, I love the ocean. It is my favorite place to be. And to walk through something like the Hobbit Trail to get here, what more can one ask for? Simply amazing. This has become, I think, one of my new favorite spots. What an incredible place. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. What an amazing trail, Hobbit Trail. And then it leads into a place like this. Just fantastic. So uh, thanks again for coming along with me. I'll get home and look at some of these pictures and uh, I'll show them to you, see what I got. Hopefully I'll be proud of some of them, but uh, you know, you just never know until you get home. Just uh, 
do your best and see what happens. So uh, until next time, oh, really quick, uh, like my channel, subscribe to it, you know, supports my channel. Hit the like button if you like this video. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you want to kind of see a body of my work. I'm at r underscore m underscore foster. It's a mouthful. Yeah, r underscore m underscore foster. I'll put a link down below. So anyway, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. Ciao for now.